This is just one battle in the never-ending war between pedestrians and automobiles that plays out every day at the University of Maryland. Here on Campus Drive, traffic is often busy, especially in between classes when students clog up the road. While that metro bus may have had its way, other cars aren't always that lucky. Take this blue Honda for instance. It has to wait for a clear crosswalk, and at 12.51 on a Wednesday afternoon, it's not likely pedestrians would stop to let it go. So while this Honda waits, let me tell you what the University of Maryland is trying to do about its traffic problem. From June 19th to August 13th, 2010, Maryland closed a portion of Campus Drive to private vehicles. That portion is highlighted on the map. After that time, the university issued a survey to receive feedback on the closure. Currently, according to Jack Baker, who was in charge of the project, all of the information from the trial run has been passed to the Transportation Subcommittee of the Facilities Master Plan, and it's their job to decide how to move forward. And now, after two minutes of real time has passed, our friend the Honda can finally continue its journey. After watching how bad traffic is on campus drive, I decided to test it out for myself. I also asked a few students at Hornbeak Plaza what they thought about the idea of making the summer changes to campus drive permanent. Some, like Stephanie Kranzak, don't like the idea. I think it's a really bad idea because it's a main route through campus and it'd be so hard for commuters to get to Lot 1 and it would cause a lot more traffic on like Route 1 and like 193 and stuff like that. Cubby Rental, on the other hand, sees potential. I think it would take getting used to, but I think people could get around it and it would help pedestrian traffic. Seth Lawrence has first-hand experience with Campus Drive being closed. I was here this summer and that was absolutely terrible. I couldn't get anywhere, and easily at least, and it was just a pain. What about commuters? How does this issue affect them? Alana Mayer thinks she may know. I don't know what it would do for campus, but I think that commuters would have a problem. There's a lot of commuters on campus, so, I mean, I don't commute, but at the same time, not having that option and being, like, forced to drive all the way around is going to be a pain in the butt for other people. However, Leland Sampson disagrees. Actually, I wouldn't really be opposed to the idea. I'd commute to campus, and I never use campus drive because it's always unbelievably crowded. Um, I think it would make it a lot safer to cross campus drive if there were no cars allowed. By the way, in real time, that drive actually took five minutes. The M Circle is another place where backups often occur due to the congestion caused by pedestrians at multiple crosswalks. Sergeant Ken Leonard of the University of Maryland Police Department thinks closing campus drive may help with the traffic issues. Well, I think the plan actually is geared to get people to use alternate entrances to campus. Uh, for instance, if you park in lot one, instead of coming through uh, the main entrance and campus drive, you'd actually come in through 193 or University Boulevard, maybe a Delphi Road, and that, that way there would be less traffic coming through and, and mixing in the uh, middle of campus. If campus drive were permanently shut down, then scenes like this one near Hornbeg Plaza wouldn't occur. And as Sergeant Leonard sees it, unless Campus Drive is shut down, the university alone cannot stop the long backups. There's not really too much. Um, I know some people have suggested traffic lights. I don't think that's necessarily the answer because pedestrians will cross against uh, traffic lights whether or not they have the right of way sometimes. I think it's more education um, and, and just a little bit of common sense and uh, you know helping each other out. You know, If you recognize that cars have been waiting for a while, you can stop them let a car go rather than crossing. Um, some of the times, you know, they're running late and they want to get somewhere. If you just let them go ahead of you, you'll be better off. So until a change is made, the war between walkers and drivers continues to wage on. In College Park, I'm Jeff Williamson.